Today we're going to record a sample into the M8 and I'm going to use my iPhone to record that sample. It's just going to be a simple bit of spoken word to go with this little track I've done. Of course if you've got a microphone that plugs into the audio in, which is just here, of your M8, that's obviously fine. This is a neat little trick that I learned the other day, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Please notice that on the M8 I've enabled the big uppercase theme on the project page. If you want to see all the information that's normally on the right hand side of the screen, just press shift and it will come up, but of course once you let go it's gone. And it's great for people like me who haven't got great eyesight and good when you're working with the M8 and it's not uh, using this uh, mirrored display on your computer. So let's look at the iPhone first of all. You need to install this app called Microphone. If I go to the internet here, this is the app, it's called Microphone Live actually, and it's by Von Bruno. It's completely free, but if you can sit through a few adverts, you'll get the compressor and the reverb and what else, oh, the voice pitch changer thing come up temporarily at least. If you pay for any one of those then it's all advert free and it's all fine but it works completely fine uh, as it is. I haven't paid for anything on it yet I'm just using it as it is when you download it and obviously it's available on the App Store for the iPhone and the iPad. I'm using it on the iPhone and you can see it's this very simple interface here. There's a settings page here in the middle and if you scroll along the top you can see these different microphones all this is doing is picking the microphone on your iPhone to use now I'm using the front iPhone mic in the cardioid pattern if I just show you this if you're not sure where your microphones are on your iPhone then it's worth googling it I did that and came up with this and basically there's one on the bottom which you use for taking calls I use this one here which is at the top of the phone so when you're doing the recording you're going to be talking into that area of the phone there's also one on the back where the cameras are but this is the one we're going to use up here okay so microphone live download and install it on your iPhone and then you're good to go now obviously you've got to connect it to the M8 in some way so we'll bring the M8 back so the socket in the back of the M8 this one here is one of these stereo mini jacks. So the type of lead you're going to need is one like this. It's a stereo mini jack at either end. This one's got a right angle at one end but that doesn't matter. And the problem with my iPhone is that it doesn't have a stereo mini jack socket. All the recent iPhones have got this lightning socket so you might need to buy a little adapter lead. It's a stereo mini jack female to a lightning connector and obviously that end goes in the, uh, the iPhone and this end here is going to be where you plug your lead into so let's do that. I use the plug with the right angle for this end and this is going to plug into the phone down here like this and the other end of course is going to go into the M8 and it's the second socket in from the left audio in there's a little triangle pointing in and, and that's now in. So we're all plugged in and ready to go. If you're monitoring through speakers, make sure you turn your speakers down. You'll either have your headphones plugged into the M8 itself, or as in my case, I've got them plugged into my audio interface over to my left. So make sure you turn your speakers down, otherwise you'll get feedback. Let's go back to the main page of the app, and you'll see this gray power button here in the middle. Press this and it'll go orange like this and now it's live and you can see it's picking my voice up there we'll get that little waveform now it's set at the moment to 96 out of 100 which is quite loud this is the input volume so by dragging your finger down you'll see the level going down and just try a few different levels and you'll find the one that works basically we want to get a good strong level going in to the M8 we've picked our microphone on this page this front iPhone mic in cardioid pattern I'll go back here now on the M8 we're going to set up a sampler instrument. I've got one track left. I've already been messing around with this so I'm already up to uh, chain 87 on track 8. So I'm just going to go into that by pressing shift and right. And then I'm going to set up a phrase, phrase 87 and then shift and right. And we'll go into that, go up to the top here. We're not going to put a note in for the moment. Let's go to the instrument. Let's choose an instrument number. I know we haven't used 0 so let's go right the way back to 0 and that'll be fine says none at the bottom of the uh, display there so we know there's no instrument on this 
if I press shift and right, that takes me into the instrument page. It says type none. So I'm going to hold edit and I'm going to press right once, twice, three times. I now have a sampler instrument loaded into that instrument note. Now, before we go to do any recording, look down here to where it says slice. And at the moment it says naught naught off. So hold edit and right once and we're going to slice to file. Now come over to the right hand side and go up to where it says record. Press edit. You're now in the record page. I've had to turn down the, the main mix because I'm getting a bit of a double. But to explain this menu at the top, if we go over to the far right here, this is the section where you can play the song from a certain row to record your sample along with. Now, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment because I'm not going to record in time of the track. I'm simply going to record three words to go in my track, and so that's not important. But you can change this if you look. You can go to the different rows of the song where you want the uh, M8 to start from, but I've got it on no at the moment. Come over to the left. This is the arm. Now, when you arm it for record, you can set a threshold. This is set at 20, so it's a very low threshold. Basically, anything below 20, it won't start recording. This is set low, so that's going to be fine. Come over again, and this is the input volume. So it's another input volume on top of the one from the, the iPhone. And I've got it turned down a bit. We'll have a look at the moment and see what the kind of level is that's coming in. There might be a slight echo here, I'm not sure. So I'm leaning over here and you can see on the display of the M8, you're getting a fairly good level. Uh, might need to turn it up just a little bit. So we'll hold edit and right. Bring the level up a bit more. That's a pretty good level, isn't it? Just turn that down again for a moment. And if we come over again to the next menu, this is the source and this is set to left and right. In this menu, you can have left and right, that's the stereo input, left and right, so that's what I've got at the moment. You can have just the left side, the right side, the USB audio, and various other tracks, I suppose, are going to feed it. So you could feed the input with a track, which is interesting, I didn't know that. Anyway, something to be explored in the future. Let's set it back to left and right. And then over here, once we press this, and I start speaking or singing, once the level of my speaking or singing goes above the 20 in the arm menu over here, then it will start recording. Now, this song I've got in my M8 is called Mean, and I'm going to say three words. Mean, your, so. I'm going to say those words just like that with plenty of gap between them, nice and clearly into the mic. It's a bit hard because I'm using another iPhone to record my iPhone, so I've got to lean over and get it Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the level up on the iPhone in the settings down here and then I'm going to start recording those three words and you'll see the display change on the M8 to recording. With the menu on start, press edit. Mean your so. Press edit and you've got some level there. Now it probably could have been a little bit louder, so we're going to undo that. Going to come down here, over to the right, and press undo, and it's gone. So we're going to redo that. I'm just going to turn the level up a bit. We'll do that on the M8. So we'll come over to the volume, bring the volume up a bit more. It's probably going to be a bit loud, a bit might be a bit too loud. We'll try this and we'll have another go. Bring this level up. Here we go. Mean your so. That's, it. That's, That's a much, much better, better level, level, isn't it? And turn that down. And now we can take the iPhone away because we've done that part of it. So we'll unplug all of that. Now I've got my sample in there and you can see the three big waveforms there for the three words, mean your so. I think first of all though, let's just go down and we'll just save this sample and we'll give it a name. So we've named it. Now we're going to come down to save. We'll press edit and we're going to put it into our samples folder. Go into that, into the packs, and I'll put it into my packs daddy long list samples. Go into that 
and I'm looking for vocals. It's a fair way down. There we are. Vocal. Right, I'm going to save it there. And that's now saved, it tells us at the bottom, which is good. So we've got a sample, we've got it saved, so we're good to carry on. Let's crop all that stuff at the beginning of the sample that we don't want. We'll come down to slice marker 0, 0. We'll come over to all these noughts, showing us that the slice marker 0, 0 is right at the beginning of the sample, all those noughts. Hold edit and up, get rid of all that. Just about there is fine. Come down and press crop. And that's cropped all that stuff that we don't want. Come up again. We're on slice marker 0, 01. Let's go to 0, 0 and we'll just press play. Mean. And you see now that we are not right on the word mean, but we've got rid of all that stuff at the beginning. Let's bring the slice marker up to 0, 01, which is going to be our first actual slice. Hold edit and write. Now come over to all those noughts. Now hold edit and up and we come into the sample a bit. Let's test it by pressing play. Mean, mean, mean. Maybe wants to go in a little bit more, so hold edit and write for fine adjustment. Just take it in a bit and see the waveform as we move into it. Let's just try that, press play. Mean, mean. Still could go in a bit more. Mean. A bit more maybe. Mean. Maybe a bit more. Mean, mean. That's good enough. Now we want our second word, which is your. So we'll come back to the slice marker, take it up to 02 by holding edit and write. Now come over to the noughts and we'll hold edit and up. Find our next word, which is your. There we are, let's try that. Press play. Your, your, your. Maybe come in a little bit more than that. Use the fine. Tuning. Your. A bit more maybe. Your. Your. That's fine. Come back to the slice marker. Take it up to 03 by holding edit and write. Come over to all those noughts. And we'll come to our third big chunk of waveform. Edit and up. Oh, gone too far. Try that. So, right, so we've moved into this third chunk of waveform. The word that we want is so. It's our third word. So, so, so. And that's pretty good. Let's test our three slice markers that we want. So we come back over, take this down to slice marker 0, 01, press play. Mean. As our first word. Go up to 0, 02. Your. As our second word. Come up to our third slice marker. So. So we've got our three slices sorted out now. Mean, your, and so. Right, let's come down and we'll save that. Save. And we'll just overwrite the existing sample, which is fine. Happy with that. And we're going to also overwrite what we've got in there as well. So come over to the right here where it says overwrite. And do that, overwrite existing sample. So that part of it is done, the editing is done. It's a bit fiddly, but obviously the more you do, the quicker you get at it. So to be clear, our three words are mean, your, so, and that'll make more sense in a moment. If we come over to the main page for the instrument, let's name this as well, let's name this instrument, um, because it's always a good idea to name absolutely everything if you can. It's great for uh, finding things later on. So we'll name this. That's good, and we can save this instrument. Okay, now, that's all good. Press play, and you won't hear anything because we haven't assigned anything to the actual notes in the phrase. Right, let's go over to the phrase by holding shift and left, and we'll put a C sharp one. Now C one, is slice naught and that's the slice where we just crop the beginning up that's not going to be what we want so if i hold edit and put c sharp one now it's gone to the note i want probably because i did this earlier press play mean when we make our slices it goes right up to the next uh, slice so if i let this run you can hear just a tiny bit of the next slice mean we obviously don't want to hear that so what we're going to do we're going to put a kill command in um, I don't know, over here somewhere, let's try this. Hold edit 
and up and it's going to be up here in the sequence for effects see if that's done the trick mean mean that's fine so that's gone but i'm not quite sure where i want these samples so let's just try a few uh, random places let's put our next sample the word your which is on the note d1 mean let's default it to c sharp one let's take your it mean your mean your and you hear that the your has got a little bit of the next word a little bit of the so so we'll put a kill command in on that i'm not quite sure where we can put that maybe here maybe Let's see if that works mean your mean your it's absolutely fine now we'll put our third word so let's try here d sharp one is our so so mean your so now i know that's going to be in the wrong place i'm going to get rid of that by pressing option and edit right now if we run the track by holding shift and play mean your mean your mean your mean now obviously we're not hearing the so are we because we've got this kill command over here so we'll get rid of that um, move it up one try now mean your so mean your so mean your so mean okay so the so's in the wrong place let's try moving it up one a lot of trial and error needed here so get rid of it move up ones put it in there get rid of the kill command mean mean your so mean your so mean your so okay it's okay but the second word your is in the wrong place have a listen mean your mean it's a bit late isn't it now here's a little trick you can use we'll get rid of it from there move it up one you put it in there we'll move that kill command up one now it's going to be too early now have a listen mean mean your so mean so the way we can get around that is if we go into this and if we put a delay into this a delay command so hold the edit button and the up button we're looking for a delay del over here and we'll shift it down a few ticks let's try five five ticks so it's almost at the end of this step that's done the trick. Mean your so. Mean your so. Mean. Pretty good. That's fine, isn't it? That's that's. So you see what we've done there. We've moved it back to the previous step, but made it right at the end of that step. So it's put it in the right place. We really want it on step eight, but it's just speaking a little bit late. So in doing that, using that delay command with five ticks, delaying it by five ticks. Don't forget that six ticks is an entire step. So. That's a really good way of doing it. So we've we've done what we set out to do. Let's save before we lose this. Right, good stuff. Now, having got that in there, we could go back to the instrument page and start messing around a little bit. We could uh, maybe turn the dry signal up a bit because uh, maybe it's not loud enough. Let's have a listen. Mean your so. Mean your so. Mean your so. Mean. So. Okay, we'll try turning the delay up a bit and the reverb up a bit. Mean your so. 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 Mean mean mean. That's pretty good. Let's set the filter to a high pass because in this way we can get some really nice low-fi effects. right it's just letting through the high frequencies bring the resonance up a bit mean your so mean your so mean your so mean mean let's 
try messing about with the D tune. Now with 80, it's off. It's not tuned up or tuned down. So we could come up from there. Try this. Mean your soul. Mean chip monkey. Your soul. Or the other way. Mean your soul. Mean your soul. Mean your soul. Mean your soul. Mean. Remember that 80 is off. So we've messed around with some effects there. We turned the dry signal up a bit to get a little bit more volume out of it. We've messed around with the detuning. So what we could do, let's go to the mods page and let's set an LFO on the cutoff. So mod one, let's change this to LFO and we'll put this on cutoff like this and we'll put the trig on retrig. Let's see what this does. Mean your soul. Mean Change frequency. Your soul. So using that cutoff frequency it brings the volume down quite a lot doesn't it so let's come back to our main page and we'll turn the dry signal up a bit more it's quite a good effect but you know it's obviously a matter of taste let's come back to the actual phrase and let's try putting in a few effect commands we'll do it on effects 2 let's put a uh, pitch shift on this first note here so if we come up here and press edit and we'll look for PIT there it is and we'll just experiment that's going above that's all the way down try that maybe a bit too much And then on this one here, on uh, the word your, let's put a pitch bend. So let's find this. We want PBN, which is where? Over here. And uh, it's probably going to be too much. Let's bend it up a bit. Right, it's bending up. We want it to bend down. That's quite good, it's bending down. So. so just to recap on what we've done, we've got a change of pitch on the C-sharp one on the word mean. We've got a pitch bend down on the word your. Put that all in with the track. Too much, isn't it, that pitch bend? Okay, that's good. Let's go back to the song. Let's just clone this particular chain. Let's cloned it. Right, let's bring that back to 87. Come down, make this 88. And we're going to this chain 88. And we're going to just change this quite dramatically. So we've just got the one word mean. <laughs> So what we'll do, we'll put a couple of more of those down the bottom here. Um, so. 
Then you've got a kill command, otherwise we'll get the, the beginning of that second word. Uh, here we go. All right, let's see what this does. <laughs> Right, now you hear that's not quite right. It's it's a bit late speaking. Let's try our trick with the um, delay. So let's put one here. And we'll get rid of this one. And we'll put a delay over here. Over here. Let's make it five ticks. See what that's doing. <laughs> Okay, I think this last one's in the wrong place as well. So let's do the same thing there. Bring it up one. And we'll try that. Obviously a little bit of messing around and obviously the, the more careful you are with recording your samples and editing your samples, the better the end result will be. So this was just a quick demonstration to show you how you can use your iPhone to record audio into your M8 and you can obviously sing or play guitar or play bass guitar or keyboard or speak as I did there. And obviously if you've got a microphone that plugs in it that's got that kind of lead on the end of it, that stereo mini jack, you could use that instead of the iPhone. But it's just a, a nice neat little trick. Most people have got an iPhone or something similar. So there we are. That's a little bit of a sampling lesson. Hope you enjoyed that and you'll see me in my next video.